Hello everybody and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe and today we have a lot to cover because Taylor and Travis were out and about this weekend attending a gala together, which I don't know why this really takes their relationship up to the next level, but for some reason I feel like it really does. We also have a little bit of Charlie Puth news, a little bit of Joe Alwyn news, but of course, We have to start this week's episode, today's episode, by discussing Taylor and Travis's big night out in Las Vegas, really their weekend in Las Vegas, because the two of them flew to Vegas to attend Patrick Mahomes' 15 and the Mahomes' Las Vegas golf charity event, the gala on Saturday night. They were there in support of, obviously, Travis's teammate, his very close friend, Patrick. We know how close Taylor has become with just the Mahomeses in general, obviously her and Brittany. I think her and Patrick have a really great relationship as well. And they were both in attendance, supporting Patrick, supporting his foundation. So, We first got news on, I believe it was Friday night. Well, I think we maybe got it Saturday morning, but we got news that Travis and Taylor were on a little double date night Friday evening in Vegas with Patrick and Brittany. They were not actually seen by fans. There were no photographs, or at least that that I saw, of the foursome out on Friday night. But TMZ, other publications reported that that they were spotted out having a fun little date night, which tipped everybody off to, okay, Taylor and Travis, they're gonna be attending Patrick's event this weekend. Will Taylor show up? Because you know, these things, every time Taylor goes anywhere, it's a production, right? She has to think in the back of her head about what other people are gonna be attending. Am I gonna be hounded? Is there gonna be chaos around me, et cetera, et cetera. So I think that's always kind of in the back of her head. And then there was the golf portion of the tournament, which actually at first people didn't see Taylor at the golf tournament. And then there was a video that Patrick Mahomes posted to Instagram on Sunday, kind of recapping the golf weekend. And there was a shot of Travis and you can see somebody in the background of the shot wearing a sundress, sunglasses, her hair up in a bun that looks very much like Taylor Swift. So I do think Taylor did go to the golf portion. We just didn't really see her. She was kind of hidden or there were no pictures of her, which again is kind of amazing. But the big event was Saturday night, which was the gala, uh, the auction. This is where a lot of people would, you know, offer up wonderful things for people to bid on and all the money, of course, it was going to go to is is going to go to Patrick's charity. Um, and Travis gets on stage and he says some words that really, I think, kind of shook the entire Swifty community because he says, I was just talking with my significant other. The words significant other have really thrown everybody into a tailspin because, okay, first thing is, I don't know that we should be freaking out about the words significant other because plenty of people use those use those words to describe their partner, whether it's a girlfriend, a fiance, a wife, husband, boyfriend. Like it's a very general term. It doesn't, it's, it's not used in place of another word, if that makes sense. You can use the term significant other regardless of like where you are in your relationship journey, I suppose. But people do feel like the fact that he used significant other rather than girlfriend maybe potentially could mean something. Now, I, I, you know, I don't know that we need to read it into it too much, but there are a lot of people that feel like, oh, this means that they're getting engaged soon. <laughs> this means that they're already engaged, et cetera, et cetera. But I do, I do agree that saying significant other rather than g- girlfriend is like a level up. It's kind of a more mature way of saying my girlfriend, if that makes sense. But anyway, Travis gets on stage. He says he was just talking to his significant other, which obviously is Taylor Swift, and um, that they are going to be, or she's going to be auctioning off four tickets to the Eras Tour when it comes back to the States for either Miami, New Orleans, or Indianapolis. And of course, everyone goes crazy. Um, The tickets ended up going for (laughs) $80,000, which is... I mean, just incredible. I was going to say it's kind of a steal, <laughs> which is not. I mean, we we know how expensive Aeros tour, tour tickets are, but 80 grand for four tickets, that is 
very generous. Um, but I just love, well, first of all, I love that like Taylor and Travis came together to give away these tickets. Like that's a very significant other thing to do. But also, again, it shows the relationship that Taylor has with the Mahomeses and with Patrick and with Brittany that like she's giving up a really great experience for other people, like for Patrick and for Brittany and for his foundation, for his charity. I just feel like it really shows their friendship, how close they are. We got a lot of shots of Taylor um, and Travis throughout the evening. She looked absolutely beautiful in this green dress. She looked so stunning. Travis is like starting to, like his his hair is kind of getting a little longer. I think he looks fantastic. Um, and Taylor just looked like she was having a great time. There was a part of the evening when Travis started to sing Viva Las Vegas. And you could tell Taylor was like, oh God, here he goes again. <laughs> Here he goes again, singing Viva Las Vegas, um, which is so funny. But I'm just happy for that. I'm glad they got to do this. And it looked like Taylor didn't have her security with her. It, it honestly looked like she was just with, with. I mean, maybe her security was like around, but he, they, they didn't appear to be in the actual like ballroom experience. Um, Cause I mean, if we're being honest, Travis Kelsey himself is kind of like a bodyguard. Like he he's big and strong and he can protect Taylor from anyone that tries to mess with her. And it seemed like for the most part, all the guests and people in attendance really kind of just left them alone and let them be normal, which I really appreciate. So I'm happy they got that experience. We have a little over a week until Taylor is back on tour in Paris, starting up her Eras tour again. So maybe we'll see Travis and Taylor out and about doing some fun stuff. But I think we know that Travis is going to be in Paris. I think he's going with her to those shows. So lots more to cover when it comes to Taylor and Travis over the course of the next few months. Okay, let's move on very briefly to Charlie Puth, because we we know that Charlie Puth was name checked in Taylor's song, The Torture Poets Department, and it kind of threw everybody for a loop. Everyone was a little bit shocked that Taylor not only name dropped an artist, I mean, she name dropped some other people in other songs, but that it was Charlie Puth of all people. It was really kind of like a very, um, I don't know, it was a surprising moment for a a lot of people. And Charlie has not responded to the name drop up until now, if you can even call it a response. So over the weekend, Taylor shared an Instagram post, basically thanking all of her fans for the streaming numbers and how many people actually bought the album. And she was just blown away by the support. And Charlie shared that post to his own Instagram stories, which in a way was sort of, I feel like his way of saying like, thank you, Taylor. Thank you for acknowledging me. I, I appreciate you and your success. Um, and thanks for name checking me because you kind of brought me back up into the limelight in a weird way too. So it was Charlie's kind of little secret way of, um, I think, saying thank you to Taylor. And then finally, we have some Joe Alwyn news, which I know we don't always want to talk about Joe Alwyn, but there was an article in People that said that Joe is dating and happy. He's a great guy and not into drama in any way. So obviously, since the release of the album, Joe's name has been brought back up again. Though I would, I would say too that I feel like the album is more of a direct shot to Maddie than it is to Joe. I feel like Joe kind of got out of all of this pretty unscathed. Like. Yes, of course, there are songs about him, but I don't feel like they were vicious or like they were coming at him in any sort of way. I feel like it was all pretty, I, th I think it was okay. Um, but so naturally because of that, I feel like Joe is kind of trying to like, his team and his people are kind of trying to be like, hey, we're just moving on here. Everything's fine. Um, and uh, the other source said, Joe loves acting, but can't stand the attention that comes with it. He's not comfortable in the spotlight. And so I, th I think they're kind of just basically saying like, Joe doesn't want any part of this anymore. He doesn't want to be brought up again constantly. He just wants to act and be left alone. It is sort of interesting. Like if you want to be a success successful actor, it's kind of hard, I think, to be a successful actor and to hate the attention and, and the spotlight. Like I think you kind of have to be at least okay with the attention and spotlight if you want to be a major actor because those two are kind of they kind of go hand in hand but anyway joe's moved on he's living his life we obviously know taylor's moved on so i think everybody can just that we don't need to be bringing joe up all the time i think we can just close that chapter and move forward because both parties are i think in better happier 
healthier places. So that's that for today's show, for today's rundown. We got a lot more coming for you guys over the course of this next week. I'm going to finally be doing my top 10 Tortured Poets Department song ranking, so you'll get to know my top 10 favorite songs. I'm also going to be revisiting my track five rankings this week. So there's a lot more to come, obviously, as Taylor Swift creates crazy news. I'll be here to talk about it. I hope you will subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.